Mark Williams looking to consolidate. Selby looking to do five. what he does best. Five back. The hard fought nature of the match, very easy to forecast. The fact that they've missed a few, more than a few actually, not so easy to forecast. We talk about a 90% pod success rate as being the, the benchmark for quality at this level. Well, both of them well below that. When Mark Williams won the first frame, he did so with a 68% pod success rate. That's almost unheard of. Yeah, certainly not what we expected at the beginning of this match, but I'm sure it's going to get a lot better for sure. Both players settled down. I think Max Elby will be very pleased to get that first frame on the board. At one stage, it looked like he was going to lose it. So he should have settled down. He was practicing at the interval. Maybe a speculative double here. It's pretty close. And it's very what? close indeed. Didn't try to go on the black, surprisingly. He's got to try and cover. That red left of the pack is close to this bottom left-hand corner pocket. That's the red that he wants to cover here, possibly with the blue. There you see if he's going to leave it over the right-hand side of the table. Max Selby one. Play that nice. I think he's got the cover. It's very close. Maybe not. Not over far enough. Well, at least he's got the second part of that equation. He's tied to the ball cushion, but there you can clearly see it. There's a nice line. Very difficult shot that length of the table under the cushion. Selby was so clinical last night. We thought there might be some form of drop-off because to play that well all the time is pretty much impossible. But so far, he's not been firing at all. And Williams has to take advantage of that. Williams got a straightforward safety shot, but he feels his value in taking this red on. Oh, that was close. Very close. Just to put a figure on what I was saying last night in the semi-final against Xiao Guodong, Selby's pot success rate was 96%. And that's the, the fun, the intrigue of snooker. What a difference a day can make. Often does.
Yeah, his opponents put him under a bit more pressure though today. We've seen a few misses, glaring misses, you'd have to say, for Mark Selby, someone of his class. But this is a chance here. angle on the black here Six. this looks pretty good he's going to be nice and low now he's just having a look at that bottom red does a pot if it doesn't he's got a wonderful angle well the, the red does pot well, he gave himself an option and i just got to trickle this black in miss the red the cue ball and of course when he pots this red the red just to the right of it may be available. 13. Fourteen. Yeah, that's the red he's gonna come around and have a look. He's gotta finish low. And this red. Pretty good. Now this could be the key shot. He pots this red. He's going into other reds. Twenty-one. Trying to bring some more into play. He's got to make sure to try and either bounce it off the left-hand side cushion for the black. Try and hold it. Now how's your how's your look? You 22. need a bit of luck here. Has he got it? He doesn't. That was the always the problem with that shot. Just judging it, not the pot, but the cue ball off that side cushion. Too hard. Too heavy handed. And end of break. He'd be very disappointed with that. That was a good opportunity there for Max Albi. Yeah, full ball kiss on the black, and he might well have been away. That would have been a frame winning chance. As it is, he's one of those players who has the ability to dismiss positional disappointment and play a very good safety. A lot of players, when they run out of position, they're so downcast, they can't think straight and they play hastily. <laughs> Not Selby. What a cumbersome implement that extended spider is. Thank you. Mark Selby, 22. Yeah, not easy to use, but boy, did he use it well there. He's got a really good cue ball. That black, where it's situated, that blocks the pathway down the right-hand side table, so may only play a containing safety shot here. Mark Williams. Oh, it's rolled off. It's rolled off. Has he left the pot? Trying to get that cue ball close to the black, but well short. Kiss on the black. 
wasn't too clever. It ended his first break. That kiss, well, on the face of it, OK, but it could have been better. Yeah, brown's no good, <laughs> so it's going to be the this black. Mark Selby won. I well, didn't expect him to miss that. Well, it wasn't a gimme, but as I said, expect him to get them. He's still feeling it. Max Elby, not entirely settled down. Oh, that was close. A brave shot to take on. It would have been beautifully on the black, but just stayed in the jaws. The game of fractions. One. Big deal for Selby this today, trying to win his 14th Eight. different ranking event and his 23rd ranking title in total. If he does that, he'll go to joint sixth on the all-time list. Joining on 23, Messrs. Judd Trump and Neil Robertson. Nine. Deal. Dead straight blacky. It's got a bridge off the cushion. Looking at the pink now. It needs to go by this red. Could land on top of it and be on nothing. Yeah. Frustration shown by Max Elby. You don't often see that. 15. It's not touching ball, so that makes it. It's not he can run away from it. He just has to roll into it. Mark Selby, 15. Well, once again, another chance missed. Have a look at this. Anywhere but there. Problem is, if there's a touching ball left, touch and ball. yeah, that's the problem now because it's a straightforward shot. Try and get the cue ball right in behind the brown off one cushion, big target. This, and if he gets it right behind the brown, he's gonna have Max Selby in a lot of trouble. There, you see, that was the problem for Max Selby. Should never have left a touching ball there, very careless. And now he's in big trouble. Thirty-nine in front, but as Ken said, this is a worrying situation, not an awkward ball on the table. It's 
just so unusual, Phil, to, for it to leave with a touching ball there. I mean, he could have had a little bit of separation between red and cue ball. He's put himself into all sorts of trouble here. He's going to need some escape here. Got to try and hit one of these reds. Half ball. Needs to miss the kiss, and he has done. He'll settle for that. Excellent shot. Very, very good. We've said this so often, I'll say it again. When it comes to escaping snookers like that and hitting the ball precisely where you should with an escape, Mark Selby is top of the tree. But he couldn't keep Williams out. And look at the angle on the brown. This is really promising now. He's such a wonderful shot maker, as well as everything else. Mark Williams, but... Five. He can come up with some wonderful, wonderful shots. Six. Yeah, once he gets on one of these reds, this little bunch of four. Twelve. They sort of unravel each other. Once he gets rid of that one, it'll release two reds into the bottom left corner pocket 13 and that little nudge well we're all available now into just gives them options to that left corner great chance to steal the frame here 19 20 And now the pendulum of expectation is definitely swung. Williams will be disappointed if he doesn't win this frame. Where the balls are. 28. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Forty-one. This is the key shot. Just stretching a little, there was a fraction of doubt about that one, but now perfectly on the blue, colours on their spots, 4-1, imminent. Forty-seven. Yeah, these are such important frames. You look like you're going to lose. You get back to the table and then you steal it. It really gives you a great boost, but also 52. deflates your opponent. Max Selby, we saw the frustration in this frame where the frame was at his mercy. 
misplaced positional shot. And left touching ball, put himself in trouble. 56. And Mark Williams steps to the table. Does the damage. Body blow this. <laughs> 26 years after beating Stephen Hendry 9 2 to win the British Open in 1997. Two years after reclaiming 67. the title, Williams on course for the hat trick. And that perhaps is the most significant frame. Thus far, Mark Selby will be ruining some misjudgments. Mark Williams forges on to lead 4 1. There is nothing like a clearance to both Mark boost Williams and back. setback. The Kazoo British Open trophy features the name of Mark Williams twice. What about three at the end of today? Well, when this frame, he's halfway there. One thing we can say for sure, he will not trail going into the evening session now. Three frames left in the afternoon. Selby needs them all <coughs> for parity at tea. I think it's fair to say, Ken, that Mark Selby won't panic, but he will be concerned with every justification. Yeah, absolutely. And as we saw, he's, he's ill at ease with himself. He hasn't completely settled just yet. Should have won the first frame in the afternoon. Should have won that frame. Those frames could be the telling ones by the end of the evening. It's not a great shot. You saw Mark Williams looking up to heavens there. I think he's left this red into the right centre pocket, <laughs> giving him a free shot.
we see it time and time again during the course of a season. If you graze that near jaw, as you'll see here, you're toast. One. You look at the yellow here, you think it's easy. This is such a narrow pocket entrance. That's a shot than it looked. short for the blue into the right center but for a left hander it's not too bad dead straight just drop for one or two of those reds left of the pink no just brushing the cue ball off the side of the pack here 10 Ooh. Gone slightly wrong. Still okay. Just enough of the cue ball just to be able to knock this black in, but it's the next red he's worried about. Yeah, nicely played. Lovely. Little cannon just to hold the cue ball. 17 18 <coughs> <coughs> 25 26 Hard to believe given he's Stature and status in the game, but he's playing for a place in the champion of champions today, Mark Williams. Thirty-four. Selby's already qualified. Williams badly wants to be in Bolton. You'd agree, Ken. We badly want to see him there. Yeah. 41. Well, the way he's going at the moment, he's picking off these reds beautifully. Once again, playing this opening some more reds off this shot. Watch the in off. Oh, it's close. It's close. 42. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that, though. Have a look at that for a shot. There was always the possibility. Just had to avoid the in off, but it's worked out a treat. Nicely on the blue. Not a ball safe. Forty seven. It's quite incredible when he came in after his match yesterday against the same buffet. He was 4-3, he said he was completely gone. He was shaking, didn't feel good, didn't feel confident at all. He looks a completely different player today, Mark Williams. 55. And I have to... 56. You know, say that on reflection of the two semi-finals yesterday, I mean, Mark Selby had to be favourite. 
But Williams has come out and playing to his period's best at the moment. 62. Getting close to the winning line in this frame. Sixty-three. Yeah, very close. This is frame ball already. <laughs> Mind you, to prevent 70. pain, to prevent Selby coming back to the table, Williams wants frame ball plus one or two or maybe even three. 71. One misread into the right centre cost Mark Selby this frame. This has been a beautifully crafted break. Picked off the loose ones, and when he had the chance, off other reds, brought some. More reds into play, split the pack beautifully. And another sentry beckons. Seventy-nine. Interesting, Ken, you talked about their respective performances in the semi-finals. It's much like last year so far. If you recall, Ryan Day was entirely unimpressive in his semi-final against Robbie Williams. 84. Mark Allen was a, a massive favourite to win the final because he played much better in the last four. And yet when they 85. turn up for the title match, they did the business. Yeah, and in his pre-match interview, Mark Williams alluded to that particularly to his opponent, but really it's reminiscent 92. of his own game that some matches you just got to win and you, you just got to get through the match. Even if you're not playing at your best, you do what you, you can do to just win the match because every day is completely different. You could come out the next day and feel like a different player. And that's exactly what's happened, Mark Williams. 98. He just got through that match yesterday and today. 99. Much different player completely. 96. Simply sensational. 106. 108. <coughs> I know David Hendon made the point earlier on. I'll reiterate. He's now had 17 centuries this season. That's more than half his entire centuries from last season. And look where we are. October 1. A wealth of snooker to come. 115. One hundred and twenty. 126. Total clearance from Mark Williams, who tightens his grip on this match. He's now guaranteed to lead going into the evening session.
Welcome back to Cheltenham, where on the race course, Mark Box Williams is making all of the running. <coughs> Selby has to win these next couple of frames. A bare minimum, one out of the last two. Just thinking back, you know, all those years to Mark Williams' first world ranking title, the Welsh Open in 1996. He made a high break of 76 in his six matches. The late great Willie Thorne in commentary said he needs to improve on that or he'll never win anything again. I think you could say he's improved a little bit. That one's just gone awry. Didn't want that kiss on the red. Now a chance for Mark Salby. How can he respond? One. Good opening red. Nicely on the black. Now he could play for the one of the two loose reds, but he's very, very good at this particular shot. Playing it with lots of top spin, trying to into the pack. He needs a bit of luck, and he's not getting it at the moment. Very unfortunate. Could have had a red into the right centre, but they're all blocking Eight. each other. This time, a favourable kiss on the brown. Now, how can he get out and get on the next red? He's got to avoid the yellow, avoid that right centre pocket. The cue ball 13. a lot wider with the angle. He's left himself still a pot here, but certainly missable this. No, good recovery. Very good recovery. I've never seen a player with a better mentality when they're behind than Mark Selby. Many crumble. On many occasions, he's strengthened in the face of adversity. You were the same, Ken, when you had that remarkable run at the World Championship. Nine. Every match you were well behind and got the victory in the end. Well, you know, over this long session, it's amazing. OK, he's four frames behind, but if he can somehow come out of this match, this session, 5-3, he'd probably 20. be feeling better than Mark Williams going into tonight's session. That, that's the strange thing about it. And Mark Williams will, you know, he won't be taking his foot off the pedal. He knows how important at least to try and win one of these remaining two frames is to keep that gap, keep that distance because he knows the capabilities of Max Selby. Mark Selby, you just cannot 23. afford to miss chances time and time again. He just hasn't 
taking advantage of the chances that he's been given this afternoon. Try to force Six. something there. If the right hand red wasn't there, I think the plant might be available, but it is blocking. And the red isn't dropping. Mark Williams, six. I think he's got the cover, though. He's definitely got the cover, and it's not an easy swerve. I mean, he can't come off the, the top cushion. He's got to swerve it around the black, off the top cushion, but it's a big swerve. The softer you hit this, the more swerve. You get on the ball. And play it nicely. No, nice flick off the pink as well. Perfect. Third round of applause there. He didn't split them open. Six. He caressed the cue ball into the bunch and they've obliged. Seven. Fifteen. Oh, I judge that. Twenty two. Very nicely indeed. And putting this red will just release the red just below the cue ball into the left corner pocket 23 reputation is 30 a golden asset in professional snooker. Quite 31. rightly, Mark Selby has got the reputation of being one of the game's great fighters, capable of comebacks from nowhere. And that knowledge seeps into the mind of opponents.
38. Thirty-nine. Such as blue required to leave Mac Williams needing a snooker, but I don't think he'll be coming back to the table anytime soon. Good break this from Max Elby. Forty-four. Forty-five. Huge frame we've got coming up the last of the session. Yes, frame eight without Fifty any question two. will be the most important of the match so far. Fifty-three. The vast majority of finals are over two sessions and the amount of times when players have won, you hear them say winning the last frame of the, the opening session was vital. It will be here. 58. Fifty nine. Well, that puts them on sixty five uh, red and black. Sixty five. Oh, for it. Oh, we might play for the century. Sixty six. Maybe concentrating so hard there, Phil, that he didn't realise that. More importantly, he just wants to 71. put all the balls. 73. By his standards, scoring restricted this afternoon. This is highest break of the session, superseding a modest 58 in winning frame four. Eighty-five. Ninety-one. Ninety-eight. So he needed quality table time, and he got it right there. One frame pull back. The last of the afternoon coming up after the break, and it is absolutely crucial.
What a tournament the British Open has been for Mark Williams. He started off with a century in his win over Pen Yi Song. His best performances in terms of grit came against Gary Wilson. 2 1 down, 1 4 2. 2 0 down to Ding Jinwei in the last 16. Again, 1 4 2. In terms of accomplished performance, well, it had to be his quarterfinal against Fan Sheng Yi. Mark Selby might well have gone out against David Gilbert. He was on the precipice a couple of times, but Gilbert couldn't quite get the job done. And then another deciding frame victory in the quarterfinal against local hope Jack Lazowski against Yao Gadong. It was one away traffic. So you have to win seven matches to win these world ranking events. And with the strength in depth on the tour these days, any victory, lifting any trophy, is a real plus, a real accomplishment. Thank you. Final frame of the session. Mark Williams to break. for best single shot from Mark Selby this afternoon. This looks pretty good as well. It needs to just run a little bit Six. more. Could have done with another three or four inches. Bridging over the blue. Got to use the rest. Selby six. Williams missed a tricky red with the rest in the previous frame. It cost him dear. This one, well, immediately hasn't done any damage. Short of pace as he left one of these reds he has. Long straight red. Knocks it in. It'll be on the black.
got away with that. There was a bit of pressure on it. He knew that if he missed it, it was a big possibility of leaving the red, but not where the cue ball is finished. It's still, he's got a possible red into the left centre, but too dangerous to uh, take that on under the cushion. Very difficult shot. And that's why he's come up to the ball carrier just to see where he may leave the cue ball. It's been tense and intense all afternoon. Particularly so now. And off the side cushion, perfect position held top side of the ball climb. Three are the words of Mark Williams in his pre match interview going to be on the mark. He was making the point that even when Selby struggles, he finds a way. Oh. Slightly heavy contact there in the cue ball. That's why he's getting it cleaned. Now he'd like to this red that's close to this bottom right corner pocket next that would open the black into both corners he doesn't want to be straight on this has he got a slight angle 11 looks okay Twelve. Twenty. Well, is he on this red? Twenty seven. Just about. It wasn't planned. It's okay, though. 
I know that Stephen Hendry and Alan McManus have made the point That's this tough. week that when it comes to playing those deep screw shots, Selby hits the ball with such authority. <laughs> One with reverse side as well, we saw there. He really does cue through the ball. Yeah, he gets great acceleration through the cue ball. And a great reaction on the cue ball. 36. He's one of the best in the business at it. Just a little bit lower on the black than he would have liked. Didn't want to have to play a cannon into these reds, but he may have to now. But it's OK. It's worked out nicely. 43. It's hard to shake, isn't he? Mm -hmm. OK. Just sticks to you. And glue. 44. He's going to have to play like this tonight. It's not going to be... Not a few balls, and there'll only be a gap of two. And as I said, he'll feel an awful lot better the way he's played these last couple of frames. <coughs> Possible 11 frames to play tonight. We could play every single one of them. 50. It's on record Selby's desire to get back to world number one. Lots of work to do to get there, but the £100,000 first prize here would be a step in the right direction. He's had six spells at the top of the rankings. One of them very lengthy from 2015 all the way through to 2019. He wants to get back there. Fifty nine. Yeah, that's the important ball. Let's so put him seventy ahead with just sixty seven remaining. Like one more red at least though. Table for sure. Excellent. Break this from Mark Selby. And he's not finished yet. <laughs> 72. You just knew when it was 5 1 that you <laughs> knew he would not wave the white flag. 73. It's taken a little bit of time for this match to get going. He'll still be happy with his 5 3 lead. Mark Selby, 73, and a friend. The error came too late to matter. Mark Selby reserves his best until last. But the fact remains, Mark Williams is the man out in front at 5-3.